Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your man Pierce Simpson back once again for the week eight edition of Gridiron Kicks. Now, if your favorite team is the Cincinnati Bengals, the New England Patriots, maybe the Oakland Raiders, you are very happy this week as your team captured yet another impressive victory. But on today's episode of Gridiron Kicks, we provide you with our customary starting 11 countdown, which features a variety of Jordan brand endorsers, as well as our throwback of the week that pays homage to a once great running back. And also we'll take a look at your cleats within the Gridiron Kicks hashtag. So without further ado, venture with your man Pierce Simpson as we present yet another edition of Good Iron Kings. Starting things off at the number 11 spot within our starting 11 countdown is a member that remains rather formidable but hasn't been on the countdown since week one. And that's Des Bryant of the Dallas Cowboys. He returned from a week one injury when he broke his foot, the fifth metatarsal, incorporating an orthopedic and specially designed Air Jordan 6 silhouette that is bigger on his right foot than his left as it looks to be modified for his protection. At number 10 is Michael Crabtree of the Oakland Raiders, who took on the New York Jets' vaunted defense in which Crabtree brought out this Raiders PE of the Air Jordan 7. At number 9 is Greg Olson of the Carolina Panthers, who had an incredible game on Monday Night Football, rocking this Nike Lunar Beast Elite model, incorporating a Panthers aesthetic throughout the majority of the silhouette, with baby blue hues throughout the upper. At number 8 is Jonathan Casillas of the New York Giants. As his team took on his former squad, the New Orleans Saints, Casillas rocked this creative custom, custom of a Nike Hirachi silhouette, incorporating Giants hues throughout the upper. At number seven is Earl Thomas of the Seattle Seahawks, who made his return to Texas, sporting a Seahawks PE of the Air Jordan 7. Within the week eight of the NFL season, the Air Jordan 7 was a rather popular model among Jordan brand endorsers. At number six is the newly signed Under Armour athlete, Demarius Thomas. Rocking this Under Armour prototype model during their contest against the Green Bay Packers, we saw cascading hues throughout the upper that incorporated Broncos colors of navy blue and orange. At number five is Killer Cam Newton of the Carolina Panthers, who continues to push his case for MVP, sporting this Carolina blue tonal model of a C1N signature against the Indianapolis Colts. At number four is Alshon Jeffrey of the Chicago Bears, who spent time away from the field with injury, but returned to provide a toe dragon catch against the Minnesota Vikings, sporting this navy blue and orange PE of the Air Jordan 7. This newly lamented Jordan brand endorser continues to impress us all, both on the field and off with a variety of Air Jordan silhouettes. And now for our top three within our starting 11 countdown, the number three spot belongs to Steve Smith Sr. of the Baltimore Ravens. Although his season would be cut short due to Achilles tear, he sported the Under Armour Fierce Custom by Souls by Sir, which incorporated Baltimore hues throughout the upper and accenting colors of gold throughout. Although Steve Smith's season would be cut short and his career is in jeopardy at this point, from the Nice Kicks family to you, Steve Smith Sr., we wish you a speedy recovery. At the number two spot is Muhammad Sanu of the Cincinnati Bengals, who continues to dominate the 2015 NFL campaign cleats-wise, as he continues to get the help of Des Customs, who created yet another impressive model for week eight, using the Nike Vapor Carbon model, incorporating Bengals hues throughout the upper, as well as the Cincinnati Bengals logo throughout the side panel. And now for the number one spot within our starting 11 countdown belongs to Sam Shields of the Green Bay Packers, who sought out the help of Souls by Sir to create a custom model of his Nike Mercurial silhouette that he sported throughout the season. For those keeping track, this is his second number one hold on the starting 11 countdown, but this week he incorporated tribal-like detailing throughout the upper as the Packers took on the Denver Broncos. Going forward, it'll be interesting to see how many more number one spots Sam Shields conquers. Now, within the collegiate aspect, things were rather quiet this week as a variety of top teams had their bye weeks and dominated their respective opponents. However, Adidas sponsored schools stole the headlines this week. First off, the Texas A&M Aggies donned their blackout uniforms and Kyler Murray got his first start of his freshman season and put up similar numbers to Cam Newton back in 2010. In addition, the Miami Hurricanes secured a last second victory on an impressive eight lateral play on a kickoff in which they stole a victory from the Duke Blue Devils. However, many will attest that the refs helped them out quite a bit. And now for our throwback of the week, we witnessed Reggie Bush suffer a season in the injury in which he slipped on the concrete at the Edward Jones Dome, and to me, that's cause for legal action. But nonetheless, we decided to tribute this week's edition of Throwback within the Gridiron Kicks aspect to Reggie Bush and his dominance at USC. So furthermore, here's a couple of his highlights.
As always, towards the end of Gridiron Kicks, each episode, we take a look at the Gridiron Kicks hashtag and see what you sported within your respective games and pickup games. This week is no different, so without further ado, let's take a look. First up, we have Joshua Avenia, who had the caption Conference Champs, in which he rocked a spatted up version of a Nike silhouette incorporating orange detailing. Shouts out to Joshua. In addition, we have Chris Simmons, who had a stellar Air Jordan 6 that incorporated green and black and silver detailing throughout the upper, which looks to be a stellar custom. And last up, we have Mark Fontes, who laced up a Nike Lunar Beast model, in which he had the caption, conference game. Let's get it, boys. And that wraps up the week eight edition of Gridiron Kicks. As always, let us know in the comment section below your thoughts on a countdown to let us know if we miss any players that should have made the cut. But until next week, I'm your host, Pierce Simpson. And as always, thank you for tuning in to the latest edition of Gridiron Kicks. Thank you.